now. So I you came know? out uh, this morning and I was like, dude, where's my car? This isn't where I parked my car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what, Brent? I wouldn't hold out much hope for the tape deck. <laughs> or the credence. Or the credence, yes. Fuck. <laughs> 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 that's what we're talking about. So, kickball. Uh, you know. If anyone sees a black Chevy Malibu with a Waka sticker on the back, ram it. <laughs> no, don't ram it. I got a deductible. Uh, deductible. Call the police. <coughs> Take down whoever is driving <laughs> yeah. it. Grand you know, I hope now that you get your Two car back somehow team, before team. this airs and then someone sees you with some <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's the guy who stole Brent's car. That would be I'm awesome. driving, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Brent as Christian Bale Batman in the voice. I'm driving. <laughs> you're, you're in my lane. I'm dead. <laughs> Guys, the only difference is this Malibu has on star. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely gonna subscribe to that shit when I get this car back. <laughs> <laughs> I I regret not paying that thirty bucks or whatever it is. Anyways, yeah. yeah. So, so back to the three up, three down podcast. Part to you by on star. Uh, <laughs> on star. If your shit gets jacked. Hey, at least we'll make sure they throw your kickball bag out the window before they speed out of your neighborhood. <laughs> and your registration. Yeah. And my registration, my fucking, all my paperwork. Just throwing about the Wynwood Square apartments. Fuck. That was a, that was I, son of a bitch. All right. Did you have any good CDs yes. in there? No, I didn't. I used iPod. Mm. I didn't have my iPod in there. It's on my phone. Anyway, so let's talk about kickball, guys. Enough about my stuff. Your iPod is on your phone? Jesus Christ. Yeah, or you have... Oh, right. I have songs on my phone. Burning Bridges vs. Five O'Clockers. Game lost its <laughs> little bit of its shine in the past couple of weeks. You know, I'd love to sit here and pimp the bridges. The love knocker, as I've mm. done for several weeks. I don't think I can do it now. Although... I give a little edge to the Five O'Clockers. Just... Two teams. Um, Bridges, get some offense going. I would love to see it. I know you're banged up a little bit, but I guess I'll, I don't think I've made a line for several of these games we've called so far. I've just been sort of sitting over here coasting. I'll go five o'clockers, win it by a run. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I mean, not on the so line. Point five. No, but you bring up a good point about the offense. Uh, <coughs> Bridges, they've gone over ten innings without scoring a run. So in order for them to to be successful here, they got to figure out a way to, to get past that five o'clocker defense, uh, which is pretty. You know, we've had a rough time the last week, uh, but we our defense is, is showing up. I'd say we're we're there. So it's going to be a challenge for the Bridges. But on the flip side, we got the same challenge. We're not scoring runs either. So that's what we have to figure out. Um, and I think this will be a low scoring game. Uh, I predict a zero zero tie. Nice. <laughs> no, I don't really. <laughs> yeah, I, won. I, won, I won nothing clocker victory. Uh, that pitch great. Yeah. That pitch great. I predict that I'll do well, but I don't know about the rest of my team. I have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. We'll I would pitch great. We'll be fine. Man, I have picked I against. Hockey pants. <laughs> <laughs> I've picked against burning bridges for what seems like decades now. It has and, been uh, decades. And I've been picking for five o'clockers for what seems like decades now. About Th three years. Three years. That will not change. I will still go five o'clockers in this game. Uh, Burning Bridges are going to get some runs in this one. I, I predict three from the Bridges, but I predict four from the Clockers. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Or, or we can we can salt up a little garlic salt on there and make it two for the Bridges, three for the five o'clockers. Either way, one run victory for the five o'clockers. I'm looking forward to this one though. Uh, we t you know we talked about the Chubby Gangsters and Chicken Tetrazzini uh, being two teams that are close off the field as well. You know, and I think the Five O'Clockers and Burning Bridges are kind of in the I same mold. Not. Ebony um, and Ivory. I'm not, but certain members of my team are close to certain members of their team, and it's a, it'll be a fun game. So I'm looking forward to it. It's a good challenge. Yeah. Okay. Battlestar Balsactica continues to roll against the new Kickheads. The win it by 10. Done. 
No, it's not done. We have to talk about this game. Uh, there's a little history here as well. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. actually, New Kicks is on the block. Battlestar Ball Sactic actually spun off from New Kicks on the block. So they used to be combined. Now they're separate. Uh, obviously... Like a zygote splitting. Yes. Yeah, just like a zygote splitting. Um, bird. If I knew what that was. It's that cell ball thing. Before so a baby starts. Yeah, yeah, where a baby starts, yeah. Right on. Well, just like a zygote split. Where a baby starts. <laughs> that was so scientific. No <laughs> Republican. And you two are... Yeah, that's where baby starts. That did it. <laughs> yeah, you the biology textbook. You decide where a baby starts come November 6th. <laughs> <laughs> so you kicks on the block... Uh, yeah, two, the two franchises since they split what up. The did, yeah. They've it's gone uh, in two sets. It's November something. <laughs> six, seven, <laughs> seven. Six, I thought it was every time. Whatever, dude. It's the first I didn't know it was the first week of November. I'll be gone until November. <laughs> Tell my girl, you know, I'll be gone until like left. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Trunk Fuck. full of coke. We're getting off track again. We're getting off hey. track. Fuck this election shit. Dude. We're trying to talk about the future of the Peninsula League. And the point I'm making, they spun off. They're, they've been a good rival. Even though they've gone in two separate directions, New Kicks on the Block has remained social. Battlestar Brosactica is emerging as a power within the league. But they still are able to, I think, uh, you know, I think it'll be a close game. But Battlestar, I don't know, New Kicks, I always have trouble... Picking their lines. I'll say Battlestar by three and a half, four. Last, uh, last four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. I was six and a half. Last week when I was it going, it won't be close. I'm sorry. Eleven. Last week when I was going, <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm wrong yeah. for ten. But. Last week I'm going to the game. I'm walking out of my car, cleats and tell. I look over to Amanda Hassel. There's like Amanda Hassel's tailgating at a truck with four other new kick heads. Yeah, you said we're gonna do something. Woo! So I was like, hell yeah, these people are <laughs> these people are ready to go. I regret those <laughs> words. Yeah, yeah. So new kickheads, same thing, tailgating in before the 730s, uh, losing handsomely uh, seven runs to Battlestar. I see this being a nine two Battlestar victory. Alright. So we're going about eight. eight. Seven. Eight. Twelve. 12. 19. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. 11 and a half. Pena's like, I don't care either. Brent's <laughs> doing this uh, video editing for the last Put Cyber's first pitch, please! Pitch, right. please. Can they get together? They got a 730 game. They uh, showed some, showed the pulse last week against the situation. Can they keep that going? Foot Cyber's also on the up and up. Two wins in a row. Will they get their third? Get back to 500. Uh, as it is, I have to give it to the foot snipers by a touch. They've got the experience, they've got the pitching, not that pitch please does not, um, certainly, but I'm yeah, just going to go a slight experience edge, uh, one and a half, uh, foot snipers, but this is a dangerous game to pick, I will say. I could see it going either way. Yeah, I can see it going either way, but when I look at the the way the two teams have been playing, uh, I think the foot snipers have been outstanding the last couple weeks. Uh, the defense has been shut down. They're they're manufacturing some runs. I see foot snipers uh, going up two and a half runs. I'd say over pitch please. Who, well, they they showed a little bit of life at the end of the JFK game. Like you said, the experience just isn't on their side at this point. So. Man, I don't know if it's the animosity of that foot snipers game that I just had to deal with last week, but I'm feeling pitch please on this one. I, I don't know what it is. I feel like they, they're they're gelling together. They're ready to come aboard and and take that victory from a quality Are team. Be two upset specials in this episode. Does this count? I don't really can. I, I don't know. They're going to be one. They can only be one. Foot snipers by a run. Like Highlander. Foot snipers by a one by a run. Four to three. Else is not special. But. Pitch, please. In my heart of hearts, I know you guys are going to contend, and I wouldn't be surprised if this goes the other way. All right. Yeah, I agree with that. So, foot snipers, about a run and a half, two runs, what, run? Uh, two runs. Write something down. Kick between, hey, pitch, please. Kick between third base and second base, somewhere in that little pooch area. It's been a weak spot for foot snipers the whole season. I love the pooch area. First, wait, where? Huh? Hmm. Second and third, my mistake. Between second and third. You said that little pooch area. Yeah. Okay. Kick 
over there, right in that little area. So, so kick where the defenders are not. No, kick where right above where a shortstop would be, ten feet behind that shortstop. So in a grassy area where there's no one standing. Yes, that's where you right there, kick kick. right there. Well, and if somebody tries to get their hands on, they're gonna drop it. I'm telling you, it's that's a what spot. I've been doing wrong. This is what I'm here for. That's what I've been doing wrong. I never really thought about that. Yeah, I know. Well, now you know. Well, damn. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because you didn't ask. You kicked I this. Why did you kick? That's how I got on base. That's how I got on base. I'm telling you, I, I scouted that out when I ref the game, and then I did it, and I got on base. I'm telling you. Damn. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm telling you, man. Oh. I hate I'm you guys, you. man. I'm trying to give y'all tips and analytic points of view, and y'all just shoot me down. Thank you for your feedback. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, George. That's it for the 7.30 games. <laughs> hey, we'll... Preview 830 games, I guess, if we feel like it. Fuck your 830 games. Yeah. Fuck your 830 games. <laughs> I'm not talking. You know what? Fine. Good. Right, fine. Fine. Good. No, don't be. <laughs> don't be having a penny out here. <laughs> no. That battery's about to die off my And he doesn't have a roast beef sandwich tonight, so God only knows what he'll say. Don't, don't test a hungry penny.